I know. Dude. There it is. Yay. You have received your invite. Hello, loafers. We are back to... <laughs> take that. To play in Minecraft. <laughs> Minecraft. Craft in the mine. <laughs> and my lovely wife, Anessa Muins, will be joining us shortly on her Switch. So, Mel and I play on PlayStation. I'm sure if you've watched any videos before, you know that. Um, Oh, it should also be in the tags <laughs> for the video. Uh, I forgot about that. Anyway, uh, Anessa plays, uh, joins us with uh, using her Switch. So, yeah. And I do like that, the ability for cross-platform play. That is nice. I feel like all games should be like that. Um, yeah, they really should. Not yeah, gonna lie. Those watching won't just see me roaming around in the background doing stuff. Mm-hmm. Yep. We all kind of build bits. We have a general idea of what we're doing. Um. And uh, yeah, we we all like and trust each other, and no, we're not gonna <laughs> really screw screw around and do horrible things so <laughs> we just let it go people build uh, what they want to build the only thing that I've been doing is trying to quote unquote uh, colonize over in this area so I set up the first little fort thing over here there are, there are no villagers there yet um, kind of thinking about building some things and having them ready and then kind of dealing with fencing and defenses and whatnot. I've added doors so villagers can now roam the tunnels. Oh, nice. So now they can go back and forth between and the, go check out the, aquarium. the main section and yeah. Potentially roam to the outside world. I don't know. Yeah. So yeah, we're just slowly building a mega village. <laughs> Slow but sure. Bustling Minecraft metropolis. <laughs> mm hmm Truth. So much truth. And there is a cat up here. Okay. Uh, meow. You may stand. How about you come this way? Let's get you to safety. Tell Mel a couple of the horses got struck by lightning today. Oh yeah, we lost a couple of horses. They became skeleton horses with a big thunderstorm we had a, a little while ago. That was really funny. Yep, and actually, uh, lightning and struck. Yep, and lightning struck a horse uh, outside here too. So there's a skeleton horse outside. Our fenced area. Oh, like since that happened when I played last? Yeah. <laughs> that happened uh, like within the past hour. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> we had two big thunderstorms and yeah, the lightning. Lightning smote uh, at least two uh, and turned them, turned horses into skeleton horses. Yeah, yeah. Chapter 29. Oh, a trader just showed up. Nice. Uh, what do you have going on, sir? A good sir. Orange dye. Sir. What are you? Okay. would like to know what this is. Eh. Did I grab? I did. I, 
whenever I try to... Eh, what are you? Dark oak sapling. Okay, brown mushroom and gunpowder. Okay. You know, I really... There's nothing that you have. I really... Eh, whatever. Okay, let's... Oh, hey! There we go. Okay, so... Uh... What is going on? What do you mean the traitor doesn't want that? Emerald, right? Oh, those are slime balls. Ugh, okay. No wonder why he doesn't want that. It's like, why are you giving me slime? I don't want slime. You cheap, dirty so-and-so. Yes, sir. Uh, jerk face. Okay, and I've got the live chat up on my phone. There we go. All right. And it looks like we've got two viewers. Hello. Hello. All right, let's see if I can get the cat inside here and then have it stay. There we go. That's what I was looking for. You stay there. All right. Did you know that uh, when cats die, they can give you string? Mm -hmm. Like cat gut used to string violins? What? You, I've never heard that before. Yeah. Uh, That's wild. <clears throat> That's wild, wild stuff. Uh, cat gut, tough cord made from the intestines of certain animals, particularly sheep, and used for surgical lig ligatures or sutures for strings of viol uh, for the strings of violins and related instruments for the strings of tennis rackets and archery bows they were hmm. the cord the ancient egyptians used them the greeks and the romans oh yeah cat gut is a thing somehow i doubt the ancient egyptians used cats though Gonna go out on a limb on that one. Maybe. <laughs> it could be. Although maybe it's part of the embalming process. Maybe, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Is the embalm cats? Or not embalm, but like mummified cats? Yes. So I'm guessing as part of the mummification process, they might have. No, maybe, yeah. Taking out their, their guts and use it as strings, so... Hmm, that yeah. Be my guess. That could be. I'll have to look into that further. Next time on Cat Intestine <laughs> Talk. Cat guts. Cat guts. I wanted to feel you out on a uh, potential new rule. Uh, no randos during the streams. I'm fine with that rule. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Old dick tower from last time. Yeah. I... Don't get me wrong. I mean, we... We enjoy chit-chatting with folks uh unfortunately i think we've we've had a couple of occasions where we've had people ask to be to join us and yeah that's when you get dick towers and oh <laughs> hey look true. it's the four horsemen of the apocalypse here oh yeah oh how funny yeah if you kind uh, if you're over I'm by this your oh okay yeah they uh the lightning struck and they appeared. Are they? Oh, they're on the horse. Yeah. 
Well, I'm shooting the horses out from underneath them. Oh. oh. Poor horses. Oh, hello. Never trust a zombie with a shovel. Mm -hmm. They are up to no good. <laughs> like, why are you getting near this little tower with your shovel? Mm -hmm. I trust you as far as I can throw you. I can't throw shit in Minecraft. Except for the stuff in my pocket. Hello, creeper. Yes, we did. All right, I need to find that cleric and cash in the zombie meat. Oh, well, the traitor's dead. Was he struck by? No, these oh, skeletons killed him. killed him. Yeah, now they're. Well, they seem to be leaving the llamas alone. All right, jack wagon. Okay, so I'm just gonna. Hit you with that. You get that. You get that. Well, you get it. Twice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Look. Meh. <laughs> The traitor's gone, I'm guessing. Aww. That's so sad. Yep. I oh, wonder. Oh, okay, I was hearing a noise. And like, what's that? Things dying. Let's see. Go to crops. Let's go to carrots. No. How about you? No. Oh, he's here, but he's invisible. Oh, that is weird. Okay. Oh, random glitch. Oh. I wonder if he did that to protect him. I wonder if he used like an invisibility potion or something so that he. Yeah, because he can see the little. Yeah, he's got the little. Symbol. Yep. I wonder if that's what happened. Huh. Defense mechanism? Could be. Oh. It's it's no longer sunset. It is sunrise. What 
What's up, kiddo? Hey, handsome. Can? Can? I have that? <laughs> what does Alex want? Can I have a... Yes. There it is. Nice work, bud. Good job, Alex. Boom. <laughs> Excellent. Mm -mm -mm. Hmm. That is... Oh, hey now! Hmm. Oh. Yeah, poor traitor, like all of... <sighs> well, his llamas are gone. The wolf got him. Sorry, buddy. <sighs> all right. Well, well, oh, is that a fox? Yeah, it's a fox. See, I'm trying to run in here and eat all the fish, that's gonna cause some problems, isn't it? There. <laughs> Turned around to the golem with her staring at me. <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna do here? Can I just herd you, oh, dude, dude, dude? The golem is interfering with my computer. Dude, plans. dude, dude, dude. Up, up, oh, up. Up. Mm. Are they apples? 
I was gonna say if you got an apple or something that they eat out, they'll follow you around. Oh, okay. I'll pack in my bags. Dun, dun. Dad joke. Let's see. And get glass jars at any time. Doesn't matter. It's a, it's a like a moss that you can put on top of grass. Unfortunately, you can't build over the top of it. Mm. It gets in the way. So. so it acts like carpet. Kinda, yeah. Yeah, you are not wrong. Yes, it's going to. Cool. <sighs> Boy, it's a good thing I did some urban planning before I fucking put this plan in motion. Mm -hmm. <sighs> so much. <sighs> it's like that sometimes. Mm hmm. So yeah, we're going to continue to expand this area a bit, and oh, that's right, I, I added this here, so yeah, well, try to keep, because this is area kind of generates zombies and skeletons, so I wanted to wall that off, but that's going to be a bit of a problem. up putting two layers all right so let's be smart about this let's get a good visualization mm -hmm. and curse you Give a fuck. No. No. <laughs> You're ruining it. Cow really don't give a fuck. Well, I'm kind of impeding on his grazing territory, so maybe I'll make this a little smaller than I planned. Give him some more room to wander. That's what. Yeah, never mind. I don't think anybody said it, frankly. 
are you so obsessed with like ah uh, I mean look at this he's the worst <laughs> Like what? Mm -hmm. It's the brown mushroom. Always the troublemaker. <laughs> they are always up to shenanigans. Mushrooms in general, man. They don't give a fuck. Okay. Wow, that's a lot of lightning strikes consecutively. Yeah. Okay, what did it kill and or summon? <laughs> uh, well, thankfully it's raining, so nothing was lit on fire and stayed on fire if it did get hit. So, all right, I was just checking to see if there was like another Four Horsemen of Apocalypse situation, but we seem to be good. And things are about to get better because uh, it's daylight <laughs> and it has now stopped raining. We do love that. Because zombies in Arbor don't catch on fire? I could be. Because this one's just running around. Interesting. Yeah. Huh. That zombie don't give a fuck. He don't. But I do. <laughs> Please. Legit. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna do that instead. At least the mushroom can't get inside this house anymore. Yeah, take that. Take that, you filthy animal. Whoops. There we go. So, I know that that is not going to work. Oh, shit. <laughs> Son of a bitch! <laughs> eh! Yeah, that's... we're done with that. <sighs> okay, so... If I, well, because these jack wagons are going to just start on fire just walking inside of this thing. I wonder, can I, yeah, we're going to do that instead. Uh, da, 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 da. I need building materials. I need stairs. Cobblestone stairs. Yeah, that's fine. Boop. Oh, jeez. No! <sighs> Dude. You are a butt. There. Son of a bitch. Uh, oh, that's not going to work. Ah. Is that right? If I put that there. Oh. 
Yeah, 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 okay. Then I need Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Did they really add that? Oh, fuck, dude. That's awesome if they did. Boop. Oh, yep. Hang on. <laughs> They've added walls. Hmm? Oh, yeah. That is fucking insane. I noticed that the last time I was playing. Yeah, so if you go to the building section, instead of just jumping right into materials, there's now fences. There's walls, I'm sorry. Do they make another... Oh, it's another brick. They don't make another... God, if they made another rack, I could just set that up and set that on fire. That would be great. But, I don't think... I don't think that's going to work like that. And then, can you stack it to make it... Oh! <gasps> you can! Holy shit, Batman! That is awesome! Now, oh, the true test. No, you cannot set it on fire. Okay. Then you are not going to work for what I'm looking for, but that is kind of kick-ass. They must have just added this with the last patch. What'd you find? The walls in construction. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That shit is bananas. Okay, so we are going to... Construction, I need... Oak... Well, nope. I need... Birch? Yeah, girl, I need more water. There okay. we go. I can sit in my lap. Is that right? Because then... Yeah. Oh, baby, you scared me. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Eddie! Brad says, Hello, Eddie! Hi, Eddie! Hello. Says hello. Anessa says hello as well. Anessa says hello. Anessa says hello. 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 All the hellos. Salutations. <laughs> Sometime while you're still up, before you go down, would you mind handing me oh, some yeah. stuff? Because I got this sweet thing. Oh, okay. Shanks. Yeah. I can't tell where my s person is on this map, and I should be able to tell. Yeah, check your wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you gotta check there, something ain't right. Yeah. Or like something. If you to check there, something ain't right. Or something is incredibly or right. I very right. Yeah. One or the other. Probably not both, though. Yeah, I, I think. Uh, there's no lukewarm uh, position on that uh, matter. No. Where am I? You're either down for that or you are not. On the desk over there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No middle ground. Thank you. There we go. Bye, I do, I do, I do. Bye, babe. That's what I appreciate about you. Is that what you appreciate about me? Huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> Your sister's hot, Wayne. Oh my gosh, y'all are like in each other's head. Y'all said yep. it almost the exact same time. said it at the same time. Your sister's hot, Wayne. <laughs> I'm too fat to run. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go rewatch it now without you. No! That's blasphemy. Blasphemy. <sighs> that is so blasphemous, I can't even. Yeah, even Brad agrees it's blasphemous. I wish I knew you when I was young. <laughs> eh. Who cares? <laughs> I, I know the uh, the money's really been rolling in, so. <laughs> Brad said, "I know." <laughs> Brad, yeah, right. Brad said, "I know the money's really been rolling in, so." He's not wrong. Brad said you're not wrong. Have you ever, have you ever seen those actual ads where it is people their, their Yep. Like sure. a random vlogger. You have to watch five seconds of, it, of their vlog to skip the ad. That counts as a new form. That is the truth. That said... <laughs> Yeah, I but mean... That said... That's it. We did do that whole contest, though, and I did promote that, I, I think, didn't I? Yeah, we... We did some good stuff for that and didn't get anything out of it, really. And, and part but of then, it... you know, we made some, some good we got, gaming friends happen, yeah. and that was fun. So yeah. To be fair... To be fair... <laughs> Brad went up. He harmonized here. Mm. No, that's true. And honestly, we we've, we've got a you know a shit ton of content at this point. Um, a lot shit. of it is you know Fallout seventy six. <laughs> um, so you know part of part of us doing this one is to not have you get so fucking burnt out on Fallout, um, but two, to diversify our kind of portfolio, uh, as it were. Yeah, um, that's very true. Yeah. So, He you know. said, We have a lot of 76, a lot of content, but it's almost all 76, and that's one other benefit, basically, to doing the Minecraft things, is not only am, is it helping me be not burnt out on 76, but it's also creating alternate content. So. I mean, honestly the bigger consideration was was your burnout to be to be honest um yeah but i appreciate it i was getting pretty and, and i could tell uh, you enjoyed hanging out but what we were doing wasn't really exciting yeah um, and i was i was picking up what you were putting down there <laughs> i was like i'm here to hang out with brad that's about it <laughs> yeah and so it was it was oh. it was time to, to, to break it up a bit. To diversify. Uh, and I know that allows Anessa to, to be a part of stuff too, which yeah. is kinda of fun. It is fun. So we know Anessa's not gonna go off and make a penis tower. Yes, Anessa will not run off and make a penis tower. I can well depends on the day. That's fair. Just kidding. That's, you don't know. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. You're right. I have you no idea. Know. 
I, I no. Nope. Maybe I'm making a rectangular being. I, you, you know what? Know. You could be, and and God bless, God bless. <laughs> um, did I fuck this up, Art? No, yeah, no. no. Did it? Cause zombies are gonna come right here, and no, no, nope. That's right. Wait. Like Cronenberg body horror here with these merged zombies. There we go. I got that fixed. Listen here, <laughs> chuckle nuts. Get out of town. Okay. Yeah. What my brother said. That's Senior Chuckle Nuts. Okay. So we're gonna do. <laughs> Arctic. Is that Arctic? <gasps> Arctic! Arctic! How are you? So long. Hooray! My father was Mr. Chuckle Nuts. True facts. I'm just Chuckle Nuts Jr. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I can't read right. That's alright, uh, it's, it's not required here. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> and now to start everything on fire. <laughs> Oops. Kind of went off the rails there. Uh, you are not welcome here, sir. Yeah. And... Uh, oops. And... Been doing good. How have you been? Yeah, been been pretty good. It's so good to hear from you. Yeah. What's been What's been new for you? Oh, these uh, go away. Yeah, there we go. All right. Okay, let's get this going again. Oops. <laughs> Working and being tired? Yeah. Yeah, that that's right. the joys of adulthood. <sighs> I hope you enjoy being on fire, sir. Okay. Because we enjoy setting you apart. <laughs> I thought it was funny as hell. All right. <laughs> and boop. And boop. There we go. Yeah, I wasn't sure if you are still in your home country or if you uh, had moved. I wasn't sure. I know you had some some plans up in the air last time we we spoke. Yeah. I hope I hope everything is good on that front. Ooh, yeah. Okay, so, oh, Enderman. Can I set you on fire? No, I cannot. Friggin' Enderman. Yeah, you, you can be all crabby about it. I don't care, Enderman. That's for taking my stuff. Yeah, how about that? I'm leaving a hole in my roof. Yeah. <sighs> okay, and now I can I think I can start whoa, easy killer, easy. 
hope I got this right. Ugh. Do I? Uh, no, because it's yeah, going to that, that take... Makes no, that's... Yeah, I can I can only imagine um, you know I, moving anywhere stinks. <laughs> I can only imagine like moving to another country has to be a brand new level of stink. So um, now I hope things continue to, to move in that direction that you're you're looking to have it go. And yeah, with the world climate as it is right now, there's a lot of uncertainty with how things are going to shape up. So, I hope things clear up on that front soon for everybody's sake. Mm -hmm. Another continent, yeah. I, you know, stuff here is, is pretty good. Um, Alex's... He's got a a day uh, a day center program that he goes to uh, four days a week. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday, and that you know gets him out of the house and socializing. And you know I work from home. And I know he likes me, but, oh, God, he was getting so bored with when, you know, like, especially when he had COVID. And, you know, I'm grateful that he had a very mild case of COVID and nobody else from the day center got really horribly sick. Um, but being being stuck at home with your dad, um, I could think of better things to do, frankly. If I were a kid, let me let me let me be clear on that part. I enjoyed <laughs> having him here, but I know he yeah. was bored, and you know I'm 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 working, and I can't really you know hang out with him. So I know he was just uh, he was napping, which he doesn't do all the time. Uh, it's somewhat rare that he naps, um, but it was becoming very commonplace. Um, and so far things have kind of been okay in the, ah, fuck me, in the COVID front, in this area at least, it's been pr pretty good so far. It's been better than it was. It was, we were pretty high up there. Yeah, our, on. our county was way in the red. We um, made the news. Yeah, we did make the news. <laughs> Got yeah. Um, so, uh, and the reason why I mentioned that is um, Alex was, uh, we, we had a job uh, lined up for him. And then unfortunately the hotel that he was going to work for in the laundry area, it was a, it was a job that he seemed to dig. Um, they started laying people off because COVID. Um, so... Uh, now that things have kind of calmed down, we're going to get him back in, in that program and um, see see where things go. And the nice thing is is the organization that he has the day services through also has a, a job coaching uh, and job placement um, program as well. So it's kind of all in one place uh, to to, to you know, help him succeed and help him achieve goals or you know more autonomy, um, which.
which I know he would like and I would like that for him too. Um, so. Oh geez, I hope it was a mild case. Yeah, when Alex got it, he was he was really he was very sniffly and his nose leaked constantly. It's funny, mm -hmm. his <laughs> his nose leaks anyway. So Alex got a crap gene set when it comes to the nose. Um if if anything touches my nose that is not my own hand <laughs> or my own body, like my, you know, my, my, my forearm or whatever, my nose will run. It's kind of like a, uh, a sea cucumber defense, you know, just bleh, and just everywhere. His mom, her nose would leak when she ate. So <laughs> on a good day. Alex has got a leaky nose, um, but when he had COVID, it was just, it was off the charts, and he was tired, and he was, uh, it was not good, um, so, so I hope that that passed quickly. I couldn't get food in. Well, that's good. <sighs> Have I left the game yet? Uh, hang on. No. Here we go. I'm just very laggy all of a sudden. Oh. Like I had an invisible bed. Oh, weird. And I wonder. I would break a block and then place it and then break it because I, I don't know. And after a little bit, then it would like appear, disappear, reappear. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So that I looked up at the TV. I'm like, have have I left the game yet? Because <laughs> I feel like it's about to make me. Yeah. So yeah, I'm glad that that seemed to pass quickly for you. We've just had um, my my best friend uh, had uh, crap um, had open heart surgery not too long ago and has diabetes. So he's high risk. So we've been you know trying to. We've been very mindful of that. We have another friend who uh, had, had chemotherapy, and you know she can't. You know, you know how it is. You just it just wipes out all of the vaccines. So she was not in a good place. So we've had friends who have fared far worse. And that same person that had the chemotherapy, her husband is a. Uh, emergency room nurse and the shit that he's seen <laughs> for the past couple of years has been well pretty awful what's been nice is he doesn't work with the covid patients yeah it's just the just trauma on er yeah i'm like just because of well his it, health issues with yeah, with having the, suffered a brain aneurysm, aneurysm yeah, and then mm -hmm. being diabetic, like yeah, yeah, he's yeah, he has not had a, a good road to hoe either. Uh, and to be fair, everybody's everybody's taken it in the shorts these past couple of years with COVID. Yeah, that's true. So, you know, I'm kind of hoping that we're turning the corner. Yeah, so, so far, even though Alex had COVID, Anessa and I didn't get COVID, um, which I'm absolutely shocked. Now, Alex had the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, um, which... We got him the one-shot vaccine because he's just... He's much better now, but he was terribly afraid of needles. Um, so, you know, blood draws for tests or... When we had to get, like, an IV in him when he had the seizure that one... The, one of his first seizures, it just... So we got him the Johnson & Johnson, which was a one-shot and done. Um, 
he got COVID even after he had that, and then he had the Moderna booster. But thankfully, because he had those, it was he had a he had a mild case, which you know um, is, is amazing. But I was just I was just like, okay, the <laughs> the fox is in the hen house. Where are we going from here? And thankfully. Uh, everything once we got Alex healthy and that uh, that storm cloud passed so but not everybody was that lucky so mm. You're done. You're done. Oh, that kind of worked out. Yeah, my my second booster kicked my ass. Um this is the way. Alex's second booster was I don't think it was that bad. Oh no, he was he was a little he was kind of groggy, wasn't he? Yeah, he was kind of tired for like a day. Yeah. A little bit of a fever. What the hell am I doing? Yeah, all in all. I see you, spider. Okay. Spider. We are leaving that there. Spoot McGee. Okay. Okay, so... Yeah, how's your family doing, Arctic? I'm a dork. Okay. I could have done that better. Okay. <laughs> My bad. Yep. Could have done that much better. Yeah, I I can only imagine uh, being in the hospital for for folks is. Oof. 
<clears throat> I'm sure it has not been easy for anybody. Yeah. I know uh, an acquaintance of ours, uh, her, her father had had some, he's had lung issues off and on for quite some time and he got COVID and she lives probably five hours away from where he does. And she was told by the hospital, hey, you can go, you can come and see him because things are not looking good. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> For luck. And yeah, she went to, she got there and they're like, what are you doing here? <laughs> She's like, well, I talked to somebody and they said I could see my dad. I drove, you know, all this way and oh, there was back and forth and but she finally got to go in and say goodbye to her dad. And uh, yeah, some of some of the nurses that that we know just—it's been—it's been hard for families that you know have to have family members in the hospital because it's you know it can't be visited. In a lot of cases, and uh, oops, oh, geez, Louise. <sighs> <laughs> uh, come on. Just like a man that can't hit what he aims for. It's like a toilet. Am I right, ladies? <gasps> Word. Word. Yeah, it was... But I'm glad, I'm absolutely grateful that that was not your experience and your grandfather's doing, doing well. I'm sure that was incredibly hard for your family. So I'm glad that things are, things are looking up. Whoa. What did I do here? Get out of my scene. It's items. Yeah, it's items. Here we go. Yeah. Well, I'm glad he's started on that road to recovery. That is good news. It's always good to hear hear somebody's good news in these <laughs> these dark times. So I don't know if you've been following anything with 76 mil, but they're the uh, playtest server for PC players is going to be starting up, and they're going to be testing expeditions to the pit. So interesting. Yep, the pit is is coming, which. Mm -hmm. 
And the way they've got it structured is uh, actually sounds like it's going to be really good. And awesome. hopefully not, not an awful grind. Um, it doesn't sound nearly as grindy as a lot of other things, but... That's why you have friends that play a lot of Fallout. They do the grind for you and you can show up and do the thing. <laughs> Which is all right by me. I have baddies falling down some type of hole. Hmm. So are you finally experiencing spring in, in Belgium there? I hope so. Me too. I think yesterday was our first really... I, this day today would be two days in a row where we've had warm sunny weather <laughs> and it's the first time that we've had it this year uh, so I hope that uh, things are better in in Belgium Things are warming up there. Dude, I do not trust you. I'm gonna get an animal in here and you're gonna eat it, aren't you? This weather is poop. Now it is poop no longer. Poop, 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 poop. <laughs> we love all the poop. Wait, what? No, we don't. That's why we got rid of it. There's a little wolf pup in here that's gonna gonna spawn a pig and it's gonna eat it, I'm right. sure. Behold the duplex. Nice. I hear property values are on the rise or some such thing. <laughs> What do I know? Hey. I I can't read or write. Yes, you can. Or can I? No. Maybe I've been fooling you all along. Well, you're doing a great job. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, what? And a cow just boop spawned right in. Okay. He's like, hey. Well, I'm just waiting for a wolf to come in here and go, hey, you look tasty. Nom, nom, nom. Yeah. That's what I'm afraid of. Boop. Boop, boop. What? Wait a second. Is that zombie inside of here? No? Was that a zombie that you heard in mine? Maybe? Well, there's the enchanting room. Oh, uh, maybe it was... Uh, maybe it's underground and I just 
went by as it was making the noise. It's Melissa, can you not hear Mel? I can hear. Not no, uh, Arctic. Hang on. Oh, I've been talking to her the whole time. Well, you know. Listen, Melissa. Talk. Can you not hear Mel? I can hear. Not no, uh, Arctic. Okay. Hang on. Oh, okay. Well, I'm on stream. That's good. Yeah. Okay. It's a me, a Melody. <laughs> Oh yeah, uh, you're pr you're not seeing her. That's right. I'm. I apologize. You can hear her, but you're not seeing her. I'm yeah, underground. she's. I think she's working on. Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm not really sure what I'm working on. That freaking oxalotl is just Ooh. going nuts, killing all these dang oh. fish. Uh, stinky oxalotl. I'm gonna have to find him. Uh, yeah. Here we go. So, here is the section that Mel's working on. She made this aquarium. Here's the, here, yeah, here's the oxalotl portion of the aquarium. There's oxalotls mm. over there. And then over here is the huge aquarium with all the tropical fish and seaweed <laughs> so she's worked on that you can even yeah I'm in the same, same mic so. yeah uh, I think yeah, she yeah that's uh, an aquarium she, thingy she might be here let's come on I'm down in the tunnels working on building a big kind of atrium room I think uh, there, I just saw her. Whoop, and saw her name. There we go. She. Holy. Oh, there we go. And she's above me. Okay. Ah, oh, there we go. And, um, oh, hello. <laughs> Look down. <laughs> oh, there you are. <laughs> Bloop. There she is. Hello. <laughs> There's the millionaire. Yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna make. I don't know. Something. And the one oh, wrong way. The one person that you can't hear is my wife, Anessa. And I'm gonna run outside. I could make a shortcut, but that would be rude. Thanks. <laughs> Drain all the water from somewhere. And here is Anessa. Oh, and I just threw my bow at you. Crap, there we go. Uh, no. How do I... Uh... I right or left tap on the D-pad on my controller. There it is. I waved at you. <laughs> and Anessa's clapping. <laughs> so yeah, she's been she just built this duplex with the <laughs> I like that your your homes now have the head of a dead horrible creature. <laughs> and she's been building duplexes. Well this is my first duplex. Oh, okay. Like and you can go up to the roof. They're both identical, but they have like a little... Oh, nice little sky skylight and a little trap door. Yep. Nice. Yep. I like the wall for the uh, for the top of this. That was a great idea, honey. Thank you. That was a great idea. Looks can't beautiful. Get it, up. it looks beautiful. Still going with the teal and pink color. Yeah, and. I want to say the past, well, the last time we played, two weeks ago, we got a raid from Pillagers, which are the, I don't know, 
if you're up on Minecraft at all, um, Arctic, but uh, evil villagers came to, to raid our little settlement here, which is why we've got the moat and fire. <laughs> <laughs> try to keep those raids at bay. <laughs> you know, and now instead stuff gets stuck in there. Yep. It's fun. It keeps the a layer of zombie protection. So I got one, two, three, four. And now this place is filthy with foxes. Holy crap. Nothing wrong with foxes, but like if you get chickens in here, they will eat them. I have yes, a farmer, sure I think. Will. Oh, you got another farmer? Nice. I, I'm i surprised at how hard it is to get farmers. I, oh, no, he's a fisherman, too. Oh, he just looks... Uh, oops, gotcha. Mop. <laughs> Cleric. Huh? Oh, that reminds me. I got some zombie meat to give the Are cleric. They wear the straw hat. He's a leather worker. Maybe I need to do some spawning. Spawn a couple more villagers and see if any of them are farmers. I kind of want to expand the land on this side. Yeah, I was going to say it must be must be pretty late for you right now. Oh, yeah. I'd... Oops. Oh, gosh dang it. And there we go. There's my character. He's old and gray, like me. Too bad we don't have parrots to show you. <laughs> At one point, we had parrots everywhere, and everywhere I went, they were on my shoulders. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> like, all of a sudden, you, 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 you keep hearing squawking, and you're like, what? And then you'd, like, switch your camera around, and you got two birds on your, one on each shoulder. One on each shoulder, yeah. <laughs> it's too funny. It's 3 a.m. there, yeah, I bet. Ugh. Okay, oops, wrong way. I think one of these days I'll get these buttons memorized. Room, don't give a fuck. He don't. Nope. There's like this spider that's just been hanging out, <laughs> watching through the fence. <laughs> like the entire time I was building the house, he's just there. Little spidey. <laughs> Little spidey friend. Like, I, I want to be your friend. He's a stalker slash peeper. Well, he's not doing any harm, so I'm going to leave it. I have to call him a peeper because creeper's already taken. Yeah. Creeper peeper. He's a peeping spider. Peeping spider. True facts. Perv. Most likely. The perv. The way you know is if he's wearing pants. If he's not wearing pants, he's obviously a pervert. He's obviously a pervert. Clearly, <laughs> oh, there's sheep here. Okay, the foxes are okay with sheep there you go. for now. For now, 
the cow I, the cow I had here is freaking gone. Okay, that's weird. Okay, well, it was really awesome of you to stop by, Arctic. We've yeah, we've was. we've missed you. It's been so long, and you're awesome. I missed it. Where'd you go? It's good to hear that you're doing you're doing pretty well, and and please please stop by. Yeah. Whenever you are available, we'd love to chit chat with you more. No you. No you. No you. No, no you. you. <laughs> yeah, sure. You are very kind. I hope you continue to do well. Yeah, me too. Dear Arctic. Don't be a stranger. Yep. And if you ever get the urge and want to stream, feel free. Yeah, please. The Me door too. is always open. Always open. Oop. It I spawned a farmer! Nice! Which is good, because I've got two sizable gardens here. <laughs> yeah, you too. Sleep well. Good night, Arctic. And have a good day tomorrow. And my wife Love says you goodbye. Too, Arctic. Have a good evening. Sweet dreams! Mm hmm. Bubba Jones. Bubba Jones. Me too. <clears throat> what do you guys think for making a bridge? Should we make it out of cobblestone or like to, to bridge this section to this section? Yeah, what are you thinking, Mel? Um, I'm good with like that. Okay, then we can most certainly make that happen. And hopefully, let's see. And I want.
why do you do these things? There. This may or may not work. I think you're starting to decline a little too soon. Yep. <laughs> okay. I think that will work better. Maybe I should do smaller buttons. Dude, there. Okay. Whew, man, that was a thing that happened. Mm hmm. Funny that it's not a villager that's the first one to use this bridge, but a cow. <laughs>
I don't know why this just popped into my head, but uh, mm. anybody that I've ever known that is named Aaron, I always have called Double A Ron. Or Double A for short. It's always been my nickname for somebody who's named Aaron. A A Ron. Yeah, uh, that's. I think that's part of what popped into my head is. Uh, Uh, what's that actor? Uh, uh, Is it Key and Peel? Yeah. Uh, uh, Key. Um, he's in the new uh, Netflix Mike Myers Pentaveret movie that was just released. And that A.A. Ron popped into my head and yeah. I've known a few people named Aaron where I've called them double A. Now I don't call Saren's husband that because he doesn't spell his name. Even though it is pronounced Aaron, it's not spelled, or it's not um, written that way. Right. It's more like Oran, like gold. So, there is that. So if I called him double A, it wouldn't make any sense. <laughs> that would just be weird. A little bit. He may or may not appreciate it. Well, he'd probably just go on. It's Brad. I'll just let do it and leave me alone. Uh, I would like to put this right here, please. Right? Honestly? You're not going to allow... I can't... Oh, you can hang it in there, but you can't... Oh, that is weird. Okay. You cannot place a lantern on top of a steel fence. Do you want to do, like, a... A wall? Nah. Because you can put lantern on top of wall. I think what I'm going to do is this. And yes. And I'll take that, and then I can. Uh, it. Uh, there. We'll do it that way. I'm kind of sticking with the village's rustic aesthetic. <laughs> Isn't that right, sweetie? Yeah. <laughs> Vanessa and I love hot fuzz. That, uh, that's a line from the movie. Have you seen Hot Fuzz, Melissa? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I like that movie. It's funny. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't work. Yeah, we've yeah, probably... Really God, I don't know how many times we've watched it. A ridiculous amount. <laughs> I tend to watch it when I'm migraine -y. Yeah, that's her comfort migraine movie because she doesn't... She's seen it so many times she doesn't have to pay attention. She's on her, like, and if she, the dead. Yeah. Shaun of the Dead or Hot Fuzz are the movies sure. of choice. Take that, skeleton guy. Uh, that means that I don't think I can put that there, so... A new station alert has arrived. Yes. Alright, fine. I will care. <laughs> the station alert loves you unconditionally. <laughs> the fact that you don't care is just sad. Clouds return for Mother's Day. 
All right, because we're getting some skeletons appearing over here, so I'm going to start getting some of these lantern setups here. To Oof. And you can see many of those are in the great shady counties across northern two thirds. Mother's Day, more clouds, breezier, a little cooler. Temperature at 51 at 9 o'clock, upper 50s by lunchtime, low 60s heading into dinner time. Might be a chance of a shower, very spotty in nature as we have some very dry air in place. So you notice looks pretty impressive at noon to our west, but falls apart as we enter the evening. Might be a stray shower or two overnight Sunday. Monday, early storms up in northwestern Wisconsin. Otherwise, our best chance of storms probably will hold off until Monday night. Might have a line of some stronger thunderstorms working through the area. We'll say roughly that time frame from 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. Gusty winds, large hail, and downpours, the main threat. You know what? I don't know. Oh, my God. Oh, it won't put it there because of... Oh, okay. Fine. Okay, so there, we got some more light over here, which should hopefully keep those ruffians at bay. That said, they could be falling down off of this. Ooh. Take that, creeper.
sometimes when you're underground mm -hmm. and the thunder goes off like that, it's like really loud, like it's right in your ear, but you're like, I'm like a mile underground. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> it, it could be that it struck close overhead. Mm -hmm. yeah, but even but even so, yeah. if you're yeah yeah I, yeah I see what you're saying. Even if you're like way the frick underground, you shouldn't hear that though. Even if it is overhead, if you're two miles down, you shouldn't hear a thing. I'm picking up what you're putting down. <laughs> <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> Bless you. See you I hardly know you. Thank you. He is the sweetest kid. distance between this mountain here and because I'm wondering if zombies and stuff have a chance to f actually fall inside of the gate. Is that like a oh, that's a like a crafting gazebo. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's got the stone saw and some other like the blast furnace and was it the fletching thing? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I 
probably should have faced it the other way, but that's okay. Whatever. It's like that now. Boom. They don't like it, they can eat a big bug. Yep. I was like, why are there patches of grass missing? Sheep. Yep. Sheep don't give a fuck. Mm. Are butchers using the house? No. We need to call this world Seattle. Fuck, it rains constantly. For real, though. You know, there's another side that you have to go to. They're all on one side of the duplex. <laughs> Whatever. The rain came and they freaked out and they're like, let's go! And they all just ended up at Frank's house. Uh, Frank only has two beds, though. Well, they're very close friends. So it would seem. <clears throat> and good for them. are not trustworthy. Well, he was up on a thing and I'm like afraid he's gonna hop into the fire. Oh, they will. I can tell you that from experience. You're like, oh, you're, you seem like a fun person. I want to be your friend. <laughs> and then they're like, oh, I'm on fire. stay down there. Yeah, so I made this part of the fence higher because he was standing on the fletching thing. Mm -hmm. I'm like, he's going to just hop the fence <sighs> and into the fire. So let's just make the fence higher. Mm-hmm. Should I change the orientation of this to where it faces, like, inwards rather than the house? No, I think that's fine. Okay. Yeah. Man, this villager can move. skeleton face on the other house? Huh? No, I did not. I wonder if that was the rando. Oh, it could be. No, Anessa was wondering where the skeleton head was, uh, where that came from, that on the, uh, one of the houses that she had on built earlier. On the house? And she wondered if I, if you or I had done that, and I'm like, no. So we're kind of thinking it was, uh, the person that joined us last time. It's like Harry Potter houses, but not. <laughs> Got Ender Dragon, Skeleton, Creeper House. Creeper House! I need a fourth one. <laughs> Four points to Creeper House. <laughs> okay. 
She's a grooming fool. She's my grooming fool. She loves you a great deal. She does. She is a very good kitty. I'm not hungry, but I kind of want some more of that spicy cheese. Your spot, buddy Jones. Find your spot. He's like, no, you. <laughs> There, that's my new anti-spawning tactic. I'll just <laughs> put lamps on every space where they could show up, and if they can't be on that space, then they won't get close.
I got one of the drowned coming after you. Nah. Yeah, he was looking oh. through the glass into the water. <laughs> oh, this is <laughs> really? Yeah, I'm guessing it came from like oh maybe this tiny body of water or wandered from the lake. Sure. But yeah, he was over here just you know checking out the fish. I'm like that's cool. It's like I wanna go in there. Actually, any zombie can turn into a drowned. Yeah, but he would have had to come from the water to turn into a drown, though. Because don't they turn into a drown once they're in the water? Or can they uh, eventually, in? yes. Because I'm like, or can they... But that, uh, the aquarium is attached to the outside. Yeah, but he's not in the aquarium, though. Oh, I thought you said he was in the aquarium. I, I apologize. No, he standing... He's like where this zombie was, looking inside. Oh, 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 okay. I'm sorry. I completely misunderstood. I apologize. No. He was on the outside, looking in. Oh, oh, he must have come from inside the aquarium then. Because this one just hopped out of it. Interesting. Okay, so he must have jumped out of the moat. Because I saw one just jump out a little bit ago. Hmm. Drown zombies don't get fucked. Get in there. They, they're magical or some such nonsense, or they hop the fence. I don't know. They're constantly doing that. Yeah, there's like two foxes in there. <laughs> like the fox. Where'd y'all come from? I did not create y'all.
something happen. Are you purring? You're such oh. a good purrer. He's such a loud purrer. No. Oh. Purr machine. <laughs> Get on up, and get on the scene, like a purr machine. Mm -hmm. It is nine oh coconut, my time. Sorry, buddy. That's that's um that's on me. <laughs> Poor Bubba. Poor Bubba Jones. <laughs>
Yeah. Room, room, tiny penis. Mm -hmm. What? I love you. <laughs> Cause every girl's crazy about a small dick man. <laughs> Sorry, girl, I have to go to the restroom. 
You're so comfy though. Yeah, take that girl cat. Irish! Nice. Irish! Are you playing 5th edition, I'm guessing? D&D? Yes. Oh shit. Bobs, what'd you do? He don't know. Did you disconnect my cord, Bubba? What'd you do? I got boarded. <laughs> oh, no, I didn't. Oops. Well, that could have gone better. <laughs> Bugs, you're so funny. <laughs> oh, you're a goose. You're a goose. There you go. Yeah, fifth edition is is pretty nice. Of course, you're you're talking to someone who played second edition A D and D. <laughs> and then went to three point five, and then to five, because four was poop. None of my friends would play four. Fourth edition. Oh, buddy. All right. Is he having troubles? Is he hungry? He's actually not. He's actually being pretty good now, right now. I think he will be hungry soon, but he's like wanting to sit in my lap and <laughs> comfortable, but I don't stay perfectly still for him. And that is not acceptable. Oh, I mm -hmm. There we go. I think I've got this walled in, and I think I've got it kind of fixed so that we don't have a big problem with stuff falling into our living area. And sheep. Oh, that is a duck. Or a chicken. <laughs> I keep saying duck. <laughs> Canadian goose. Yeah, let's see. Um, our Wednesday night gaming group uh, occasionally will play 5th edition. Um, right now we are gaming Spectaculars, which is an interesting superhero system. Better door than a window, Buddy Jones. And I think pretty soon we're gonna do our. I think it's like based off of original D and D, but it's 
like you start off as a level zero character <laughs> and you make a I think we made did we make six or eight characters honey was it six it was the six thing? yeah I think we made like four or five okay it was an even amount so I'm gonna say at least four I don't know that we did six but I mean it could have been and and they have different settings, so we're doing uh, fantasy, but they do have a uh, sci-fi version, and yeah, so I think we're going to be doing that in the next couple of months, I think. Yeah, I was kind of hoping to play it this past week. But, I get it. Yeah. Yeah, Spectaculars is a very interesting, interesting system, and it's the group makes the world, not the, the game master. So everybody basically by committee creates the world, creates the you know the the, the main foe that you're going to be fighting and and then it's up to the game master to, you know, set up a lot of set up everything else essentially but it's a very cooperative effort which is kind of interesting alright I think I'm going to summon oh I'm going to make some beds first Let's see. I'm going to make some blue beds. Yes, and this is... You know what? We're going to put a bed there anyway. But... We're definitely putting some lights in here because I don't want to generate freaking creepers in here because... Yeah, that should be okay. Alright, and we're lit up there too. Okay. Excellent. Now I will. Whoop, uh, so let's see. Three, four, five, six. All right. I'm going to summon six. Ooh.
Okay, so I want to load Oh crap, I forget what I call it now. Oh my gosh. Uh I forget what I called it. What is it? I'm trying to summon the uh, plots of uh, the crops. The mm. damn it! What did I call them? They're not planters, they're... Son of a bitch. Uh, is there a way to get a, a listing of the structure names? just tells you how to operate the structure blocks. Oh, I guess I did call it planter. How do you like them apples? I love apples. There we go. Okay. Well, that worked out. Now I need to get... I want another right hoe. No, I want another right shovel. There we go. Kitty. Son of a...
Okay, where... Where did the villagers go? What the heck? Maybe they went over the bridge. Maybe. I suppose there wasn't any crafty things that they could work on here. Hmm. Okay, so we need... Huzzah! Kitty. No. 
Those are trap doors, and I don't want that. I want candy. Dan, dan, dan. <laughs> ah, there we go. That's slabs. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to go with that. There it is. Ah. Uh, nope. Nope. You cannot speed build that, can you? Not even a little bit. I need to check my sugar. Hey kiddo, you need some water? Go right ahead. Grab my thing before I forget where I put it. Legit. Super legit. It's funny, but I'm getting adverts for my glucose meter. Huh. I'm like, I already own it. Why are hmm. you advertising to me? I don't need to. Or do you? Maybe, because I can keep one at work. Which thing you do? I don't, I don't know. All of them. I might if I can't get enough blood. <laughs> there we go. Poke them. Sugar high? No, it's at 98. Oh. Well, that's good. Yeah, no, it's good. I might have checked it too soon. Um, I'll check it again in like an hour, hour and a half or so. Yeah, I always think it's going to be high, and then it's like not. I'm like, oh, okay. I guess we're not terrible. It's a weird combination of disappointment and relief. Mm-hmm. Oh my God, I thought it was going to be high. I'm so glad it's not high. was just silly. That's how you do it.
uh, and I it won't let you cook rotten flesh that's good that's nasty Mm. Oh, they carry them in Target, but they're about the same price as a box of eight, and it's only a box of four. Mm. Yikes. <clears throat> all right, I gotta find the cleric. Dump off all this zombie flesh. Still, that's an option. Nasty. Okay. Yeah, they all they all beat feet to the other side. Not funny. Welcome back. Well, it's nighttime, so. <laughs> Don't judge me, villagers. So <sighs> All right, well, I'll see if I can find the cleric. purple outfit. That is not you. Nope.
Ah, there you are. I'm like, otherwise I think I have a cleric over here somewhere. Okay, well, I got rid of... I got an emerald out of that. Uh, uh. All right, well, that. Wait a second, what level are you? Oh, you're you're a novice? Oh my gosh. Ooh, the mushroom's coming to the other side. Hello, mushroom. Okay. Okay, so he's not having any of that. All right, fine. Uh, okay. Okay, and now, well, let's see, because I want... Well, let's see if we can't jack his level up here. Oh wait, he's the max level cleric. Are there... Okay, was there another... Huh. Okay. How you doing, Melly? I'm doing all right. Oops. What are you doing? He don't know. He don't know. I think he is starting to get antsy. Oh, oh, that's right. I was going to put a door here so it's closed off. Let's do Oh. 
There's the level one cleric. Dude, I was just talking to the cleric. Are you hiding him? Yes, you are. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh my. What's up? Get out of here. Your the Enderman appeared right next to me. Whew. He scares me. Hmm. Well, that 
was fun. Alright, this weather crap's gotta stop. That is done. Okay, oh, and Sweetie Bridge. Nice. That is a maze balls. Nice. Well, hopefully they'll figure it out. What do you think, buddy?
another mushroom. I'm going to name him Ed. Or her Ed. She's going to be Edna. Edwin. Edwina. Legit. Edwina Mushroom. I built the glass wall around the moat a little higher because I was tired of watching the drowned zombies like hop out of it and then like stand there and look in like, oh, I regret my decision to leave my watery hole. <laughs> watery hole. You know what? I think I'm going to do this. And then
Oh. What if can I? Oh, that's just that's poop. Okay, so let's do that. And then boop. And then let's do that. <sighs> ay, ay, ay. Well, at least these guys are staying here, but I think they might be there because they haven't figured out the stairs. Oh, wait. No, oh, he came down and he's using a bed. Well, good for him. Um, I've installed a bell, honey. Oh. Oh wow. It was a skeleton riding a spider. Oh. And it fell. <laughs> and it landed on the fire. Oh my god. Bummer, dude. What a bummer. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's nice to see that that's working. Kitty, sit. Dude, there's... Ooh. I 
saw that lightning strike. It just struck the ground. It didn't struck, strike anything. Mm hmm. But still, it was within my view. Did we lose Mel? I am unsure. She's been sitting idle for a bit. Yeah, I think she might have fallen asleep. I'm here. I'm just really slowed down, but I am here. I hear Anessa working behind me. <laughs> she can hear you working behind her. I know? Yes. Oh, is she awake? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> She's all sure, sure. <laughs> I heard something whiz by a second ago. I wasn't sure if that's like an arrow being shot at me. I forgot my water. What? I know. Okay, this rain is poop and it is now done.
Well, they certainly do love their paths, don't they? I said they certainly do love their paths, don't they? they do. Like it gives the meaning or purpose or something. Like, I don't know where to go. Oh, look, there's a path. I now have direction in life. Mm hmm. Oh, boy, you guys are just not there, are ya? You're just going to have to fall at this point. You guys will figure it out, I'm sure. Bobs, you make a better door than a window, my guy. Back up. <sighs> Still hard life, buddy. <laughs> <laughs>
He's like, you know what, Mom? Oh! Wait. Is that a warning bell I just... Is that how it... Mm, I don't know. I wasn't sure how that worked. I don't know, but you can ring the bell. Yep. I've been ringing it. Oh, okay. I've just been wondering what it does. I don't know. Hmm. Okay. Well, hmm. I wonder if I can get them down by putting up some scaffolding. doing whatever it was I was doing. Please tell me that you can use scaffolding. Okay, I have boxed you in with scaffolding. Oh, mm -hmm. shit. Great. Uh, I gotta get dark oak again. Okay. What if 
I just there. I just basically forced him out. He didn't fall nearly as far as he could have. I don't know what I made, but I made it. Nice. Hey, Priya. Yeah, we're just building stuff. Mine is a prime example of stuff. <laughs> We've been slowly working on expanding this village over a period like of... I made a little observation room with, like, I don't know, a park or something on top. Hmm. Oh, yeah. There's no real purpose. Nice. Need some butterflies in there. Alright. <laughs> but I've got a bridge. Mm -hmm. Taking a sheep, have ventured over, I planted some flowers. <laughs> Sheep's eating my grass. made a pathway to the bridge in hopes that villagers would roam there. But I mean, they seem to be doing their own thing. Yeah. They're like... Yeah, so this has just been trying different things and different combinations. Oh, the horse with the diamond armor has trotted over here. Interesting. Okay, the villagers are starting to kind of check this out. Alexander, open the door, please. He is really into his music tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Well, they've got plenty of food. Oh, that's my stomach. Mm -hmm. Back up, buddy. Back up. I don't know what he's listening to, but <laughs> totally had everything else tuned out. It's like, whatever, lady, I'm jamming. <laughs> <laughs> Do not disturb. That's how he rolls. Right, well, it's time for medicine. Speaking of how they roll, I want to see how things are in the end. If we still have any. Any of the villagers in here I'm gonna say oh yeah
Mm, no. Yeah, okay. And there's the door. All right, let's see if we can't clean some of this out. I spawned a mule. You spawned a mule? What? Would a bridge be a better method of getting peeps over? Alright, let's get this cleaned up here. Oh crap! You fucks, that scared me. <laughs> Kitties. Kitties. I know you're hungry. Uh, Wondering how long this building will stay in one piece in the end. I walked under Maui. <laughs> oh. No, ma'am. Oh, my. Creeper don't give fuck. Mm -mm. Where are you? They are good at hiding.
Ah, shit. Whoops. I <laughs> keep doing that. <sighs> oh my. All right. Now let's get down to brass tag. How much for the ape? Let's see, it's not ore. I know I can build with it. And... It's not an ore. It's like unmistakable. Ah. Nope, that is a honey block. Close. Block of gold. Honey block, slime block. All right. And stone bricks and stone. That is what I am looking for. Excellent. You've done well, Lord Vader. Okay, first off... There we go. Is a thing. Okay. Well, this is going to be a combination of things. I need end stone, I need actually nature. Logs, there it is. Dark oak. Ay ay ay. There it is. I hope you're proud of yourself there, little baby ender thing. Stealing my stuff. Excellent. 
phase two. I need cobblestone. Uh, it's probably from all the skeletons that may have died in there. Possibly. Bubs. Hey. Stop, Bubs. You're hidden. You're hidden. Yeah, don't be a butt, Bubs. Bob, stop that. Stop it. No. <laughs> Oof. He is sassy. He is sassy. I can't find it. Bubba Jones. He is the sassiest cat. One. Oh, there's a whole mm. bunch on this side. I don't think they're ones killing the ones on the other side, though. These two bodies of water are not connected. Hmm. Because I killed like two of them, and I'm like, wait. Yeah, because this one ends behind, and they're not connected. I've swam the rest of that moat and I can't find any axolotls. Hmm. Alright, and we are going to 
And I don't see any more floating fish. I do not know. Well, they'd have to jump through fire, so that wouldn't make any sense. Okay, well, I found an axolotl. It is time to build a library. What are you doing, buddy? I wonder if the game just randomly spawns them in here. We didn't yeah, get raided tonight, did we? Uh, we did not get raided this evening, no. Thank you, buddy. That's very sweet. Yes, it's a good boy. is not ideal, but it will have to do. Take that, Bainbridge Scholars. No one really seems to like that second apartment. I think this golem is a pyro. He keeps standing in this corner staring at the fire. <sighs> he, he freaks 
frequently hangs out there and he's like, hey, bye. Oh man, girl, how sleepy. Ah, so you can stack it up. Nice. It is not easy to do a second layer. There. Okay. So I got that. I am going to get him this and that and are we nope
see if I can load the planter in here. Oh, that's not good. Because it's loading it that way. here I need to activate can I rotate it no Yeah, it should. It should. Yeah, you can go ahead and get your iPad. Oh, rotation. You knob. Come on. Still gets me at the house. Okay, so boop, boop. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's how you do that. Okay, I got it figured out. Okay, so load structure name, load planter. <clears throat> and rotation 90 degrees. Right? Right. Boom. Alright, now y'all got food. Alright. Let's get that fixed. Oh, 
Well, that golem is not going to be popular in the end, I'll tell you that right now. He is... Any Enderman? Nope, he's just chasing the Enderman. Okay, well, I made him happy at least. <laughs> just running around killing Endermen. Boy, you better hope that a whole bunch of them don't just flock together. See, he's going to be very sad. Well, he's got food, and he's going to have, there we go, glass in his windows. Yeah, the golem is having nothing to do with the end creatures. Just watch them go. It's like, oh, they're close. Take that. And that. I spawned this in, or when I copied it originally, a golem and a cat were there, close by. So that's how the golem got to the end, and the kitty. You are the librarian, so you have books. You are the armorer. All right, well, ugh. And you are weaponsmith. Okay. So, let's get y'all hooked up here. Let's see, the weaponsmith needs the grindstone, I think.
There we go. So those guys have something to do now. Because he's got his library. Okay, well, I think those guys are in good hands, now that I finally built them a home. In the end, and I'm back. Oh, the traitor's here. Yay! Yes. And he's visible. <laughs> and he's standing on the bell. <laughs> the llamas. <sighs> them to spit at me. <laughs> nice. Well, we got a bunch of stuff done. Holy cow. I don't know how you guys are faring. Mm, I was trying to wake was... up a little bit. What'd she say? Huh? So What'd I was trying to wake up a little bit. I got really sleepy there for a bit. Oh, she was starting to get sleepy. Yeah. Yeah. I was so tonight. But I'm going to make an atrium, I think, an underground one. Nice. And I don't know what we'll do with it, but something. I just want it to be like, I want it to be like you walk in and you're just like, holy crap, this is really big. Fix my room. That's what he said? Yeah. Hopefully that's what she said. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what was He'd said, but like yeah. <laughs> True facts. True facts. Huh. Actually, I can get rid of those trap doors now. They don't make sense. The trap doors that were on the roof of the glass. Oh, yeah. Uh, that is magenta stained glass, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, there we go. Nope. I am mistaken. Purple. There. There. Now that there's a door in the front, I don't need a trap door in the top. Nice. I'm trying to find the material that I used for my roof. I don't know if I'm overlooking it or what. Oh, it's going to be uh, planks, so it's going to be in construction. I thought I used the black. The blue? Yeah. 
Yeah, no. It's it, a full block, not just the plank. No, it's a plank. Oh, is it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Okay, found it. There we go. Hashtag nailed it. Thank you. You are very welcome. Well, it looks like those villagers are staying on the other side now. I don't know that anyone's really wandered over to my new area. Beyond, like, the cows and the pigs. Mm -hmm. I haven't made a path to the walkway. And all I've got are two chickens and a sheep. <laughs> see if anyone's downstairs. Oh, there's a pig and two cats. That I thought this was like a nice joke. little sunroomish <laughs> thing going on. Two pigs and a cat walk into a bar. <laughs> cat does meowdy. <laughs>
Hey, Melly, you still here? Mm-hmm. I think, I think we're going to wrap it up for tonight. All right. You out exploring the wilderness? Yeah. Ye old wilderness. Back at home, boys.
I think sometime this next week I'm going to try out this um, oh uh, try out this uh, mod or whatever it is for Minecraft and you have to start with a new world but it's all about getting stupidly overpowered bows mm, okay and uh, yeah so you you go on quests to get the the stuff to make these different bows and cool. they do like stupidly massive <laughs> damage to things as somebody shoot a mountain and just tear it up pretty good yeah that's pretty cool that'd be interesting so oh. yeah we'll uh i'll give it a shot and see how good it is <laughs> Okay. Fair and uh, then we'll talk a little, little more about it to see if you're you're down or, and we can always always do this. This is okay, okay. this is very nice too. Yeah, that sounds good. I look forward to hearing about it. Which I will catch you in our Discord. Yeah, in the Discord. <laughs> Link in the description. Booyah. Booyah. Alright, loafers. Thank you for watching us screw around and build things this evening. Mm -hmm. And we will catch you next week. Okay, bye. Bye. bye.